Hey, it's Matt with 1T Fit and Finish. Finally get to hang out in the shop. I'm actually going to do a review of the Bauer cutoff saw. Check it out. My wife told me that I need another tool like I need a hole in the head. While I was contemplating the best way to do this, I decided that it would be safer to just get the tool and beg for her forgiveness. Now let's do an unboxing. I'd like to mention that this is not a sponsored video, so uh, I'm a free agent, wink wink. After a lengthy and thorough study of the manual, let's take a look at this thing. At first blush, the saw looks to be well built and sturdy. The majority of the construction is all metal. I guess I'm kind of doing two reviews. The saw doesn't come with a blade, and this Hercules 14 inch 330 seconds wide cutoff wheel was conveniently located at the end cap of the aisle where I grabbed the saw. The spindle lock is located on the front of the saw and made it very quick and easy to attach the blade. Using the provided Allen key, the fence can quickly be adjusted from 0 to 45 degrees in each direction. The Allen key is also used to attach the blade and adjust the depth stop. There's two additional holes to move the fence to cut wider stock. This torsion style spring is pretty smooth and strangely similar to the other, more expensive red cutoff saw. This is the depth stop. The quick release vise is surprisingly similar to the ones found on the more expensive abrasive saws. So I bought this thing to cut some metal, so let's cut some metal. Alright, before we start cutting, I've got some safety glasses here with side protection. Uh, I've got my hearing protection. I've got my hand protection. Let's do this. To start, we're going to flex hard on some hefty 1 16th ER70S2 welding wire. Now we'll step it up to some 3 seconds of an inch 70S2 rod. How about some 1 8 by a half inch mild steel? Now some 1 8 by inch and a half mild steel. Next on the chopping block, some quarter inch by inch and a half mild steel. Whoops, careful, it's hot. I'm at an old, rusty, used horseshoe, type of steel unknown. Yep, it will 
little cat. Now for some half inch rebar for a project I started six months ago. Now on to some 1 inch by 1 inch square aluminum tube. Wait a second, what are you doing? We don't cut aluminum on an abrasive cut off saw. This saw has plenty of power for my purposes and likely strong enough for anyone from DIY to a small production shop. So let's be real about this saw. I've used many chop saws in the past, a lot of name brand ones. Um, I saw the Hercules saw sitting right next to this one. And honestly, I couldn't see a difference between the two to pay an extra $40. And I certainly couldn't see the difference between this and the Milwaukee and the $70 difference that I would have had to pay. So, a couple of modifications. And nobody is going to even notice on the job site. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon for notifications for upcoming videos. This is Matt with one T fit and finish. Thanks for watching.